May 21st, 2017, Travels with Phil continues just out of Custer, South Dakota, and this is the Crazy Horse uh, Memorial Monument. And this is very big. Now from here it doesn't look so big. I'll zoom in and try to hold it steady. But basically all four heads from the uh, Mount Rushmore could fit. Let's see if I can get my finger in there. Could fit right in there. Just in the area behind his head. That's how enormous this thing is going to be when it's completed. Now his face is done. And basically, you can see the outline of the horse's head. He's pointing off toward the right. Somebody asked me, or somebody asked him once where his uh, people were, where his lands were, and he says, where my people are buried. And uh, this uh, monument here came as a request, a request from uh, several Lakota leaders. And the guy that worked on it, uh, Zelikowski, uh he um, did work, he was the assistant to a Borgamo over at uh, Mount Rushmore. Now he and his wife have both since gone. Family's still here. This is all funded by private donations, by admission prices. This is not government sponsored in any way, shape, whatsoever. So they uh, are doing it. Now it takes a long time for things to happen up here because of how incredibly large. This is the largest monument sculpture of any kind in the world according to these folks and from looking at the dimensions of it I wouldn't be surprised at all like I say you can see the outline of the head uh, the uh, opening there that'll be under his arm it'll be a <clears throat> sort of a triangular shape there that sort of matches the uh, the grain that you see in the uh, rock it'll be sort of a triangular spot coming off the front of his hand which would his front of his hand is going to be uh, right there and uh, his arm, I should say, that's, that's his finger, and then the back of the horse. But it's just absolutely enormous. And uh, they do charge to get in here. It's 11 bucks uh, on the day that I attended. But uh, that's, uh, again, that's how they raise funds to uh, do all the work that's up here. And it's uh, a really inspiring endeavor, enterprise. And just to let you know that it really is up here in South Dakota, <laughs> even though it's the end of May, we still have snow on the ground. It's a little bit of snow still on the roofs. They were worried there might be some snow, uh, not worried, but they were thinking there might be some snow uh, uh, the last couple of days, but uh, there wasn't any. But uh, uh, it, when I woke up this morning, it was uh, 30 degrees outside. So that'll give you an idea that even though it's coming up on... Uh, Memorial Day. It is still a bit chilly out here. Travels with Phil. Back to you.